today we're going to be showing you how to create an ocean in the night. Uh, it is a request that has been given to us by some folks over from the west coast. So let's begin. All right. Well, first we're going to create our water. Now, I've showed you guys, guys how to do that before. You get lots and plenty of. I usually try and say keep everything that you do real short strokes. Not when it comes to water, folks. You want plenty of white, plenty, plenty of blue. Now we're going to create, and night skies are usually so easy. We're going to create a night sky. Here we go. Real simple, quick stroke, back and forth, back and forth, darker in the back. And then as you come towards the front, keep your, your sprays about three, maybe six inches away from the, uh, from the painting. Just like All right, now then. This painting is really simple. I would say this painting is uh, a beginner to intermediate level. We fold our magazine just like so. Create a little loop. Just tear a piece off. Make sure that loop stays. And we're going to tap on that water and, and smear it down just like so. Let's do that. Now, the more ripples you leave on the water, you know, the wilder it is. So, if you want to make it a real calm water, go back and forth several times and smoothen out all those water ripples you created. Now, this is an advanced technique. This was created by us, Picasso Studios. We will spray some white, I mean, some orange, just like so, some brown, maybe a tad bit of yellow. Now then, with a piece of magazine, I'm just going to kind of crumble it up a little bit. You guys remember this technique, right? Beginners, how to create terrain on uh, space sceneries. Create a little cone. Tap, tap, tap. Well, good. We're going to do something similar. We're going to cut out a piece of magazine. We're going to tap these colors. Yeah, that's right. The terrain will no longer have to be made on the paintings. Come here. And we start creating our terrain. It's very important. You tap and then bring down. And we're going to want to do that all the way tr through. Okay, see? Can you see the, the rock beginning to form? Good. Some more yellow. Now you want to tap into the yellow a little more if you want more sunlight in a specific area. In this case, it's going to get darker, so I'm just going to tap on the orange and brown. I'm going to mix those two together a little bit more. See that? And then just tap. It's all about tapping. We're, uh, we have a lot of techniques here on uh, SprayCastle.com if you want to check us out that were created by us now I have some experience actually I come from an oil and uh, acrylic background and so most of my techniques you will see come from those now to level out the background all you have to do is with the same magazine fold it a little bit Tap on your colors off screen and just level them out. Bigger sheet. Tap it in your colors just like so. And create a peak. See that? 
good. You just kind of tap it once or twice, as long as it takes. Get that paint on there, as rocky as you want it. Good. Now then, we're going to create some splashes. And the way you do that, add some white on the bottom. See that? Good. Now we're going to create a moon. Now let's create some stars. All right. Good. Now we're going to put our white real close, about two inches away from, uh, from our painting. Like that. You have an instant moon. Peaceful water. I'm going to add some more brown. I'm going to create some land in the distance. So I'm going to add brown and black. Okay, now with our sheet, it's going to be brown and black. See the black? I'm going to tap my magazine sheet. Just like so. Look at that. This is an advanced technique. You're going to see some of these techniques uh, we actually use when we compete with oils or acrylics. See that? I added some yellow. Tap some yellow on that rock. Now let's create some splash. See that? And there you go, folks. You get yourself another spray castle masterpiece.